A snowblower, eh? Oh! That's neat and all, but with how little snow there is, all you'll be able to do is bury my shoes. <laughs> Using your snow structure as ammunition? <laughs> the kids are all right. Jesse! I'm done humoring these kids. Let's just go around. What? But we can't go! We've wasted enough time as it is. Jesse's still back there. It's his fault for not stepping aside before he got buried. If we go back, we can still save him. Then you go back. Leave me out of it. What a couple of dumb broads. Don't they know you never leave yourself open into an ambush in a war zone? It's almost criminal with how easy they're letting me assassinate their sorry butts. Uh, uh what just happened? Yeah, kill him! Kill him all, rabbit! He's already dead! Take that! You know, President Kanya, under your command, I think we could easily wipe out the remains of adult civilization and take over! Make you ruler of the world! <laughs> you really think so? Most definitely, Ribbit! Once we're done here, I think we should launch an all-out and bit. <laughs> Sandra! You'll get so close to the edge, you might fall and hurt yourself! <laughs> Seems you little cum stands are in need of a good beating to bring your inflated egos back down in reality. Dear God, it's the executioner from Hill Elementary, Daffy <laughs> McDougal! You stupid butt face bread! Kaya, don't. Do you have any idea what you've just done? You just assassinated the head senator of the Grand Duchy of Kids! Not only that, she's my best friend since first grade! Do you think I'm gonna sit idly by and let you get away with something villain in this room? You get her off me! Pretty sure her falling on you counts as you getting killed, so you can't talk anymore. Forget the adults! Kill her! <laughs> I gotta admit, that's a nice set of armor you got. Thanks, I stole it from a small punk like you. You may act and look cool, but let's see if you got the skills to back it. Ah! You didn't let me finish my sentence, how rude of her. Sid! <laughs> Sid! girl had said so hard that he didn't go with the obvious pun just now. She's not playing around. I gotta get out of here before she sets her eyes on... Boo. <coughs> I mean, oh look, I got a text message from my mom just now. She wants me to come home and do chores. And just when things are getting good too, shucks. Guess that's game over for me. Bye-bye. Never start a fight if you won't see through to the end. Secret self ninja... <coughs> Say, you're a kid too, right? Why are you fighting against us? Are you on the same team? You're obviously a very skilled warrior, and I think the great and duchy of kids would greatly benefit like with someone like you. With you leading our troops, I believe we'll finally have the power to launch a total assault on the remaining pockets of adult civilization. And when we take over, I'll personally make sure you have a permanent high-ranking position in our glorious new government. The supreme commander of our military. Every soldier will be under your absolute command. An entire army at your disposal, doesn't that... Heave, help, heave, help. If you keep digging at the base, the whole structure will collapse. Heave, help. At least let me climb down. <laughs> know your place, you punks. Hey, yo. Thanks for saving us. Don't mention it. The little bastards around here are a wild bunch. Of course I know how to wrangle them. You certainly assaulted these kids in a snowball fight. You know, I didn't have to help. I could have let those brats devour you alive. Because I'm such a nice fucking person, I've risked my ass to help ungrateful bitch. They were literal children, as if we were ever in real danger. That's what those fuckers wanted you to think. Hey, uh, you guys? Hello? I think we got on the wrong foot with the introductions. How about we start over from the top? Okay, Dory, but only because it's you. So who's this fucking stick in the mud, your sister? Are you incapable of not being antagonizing? She's Miranda. She's my identical cousin, actually. That really hurt. Yeah, well, I'm Daphne, and I'm Dory's best friend. <laughs> ah, she's Daphne. We're so close, we even shop dildos together. Why are you telling me this? Ah! Oh, we went to a Reynolds novelty gifts at the mall, and girls stay out with Angela and her friends. We were just looking around and goofing off. You almost bought that dragon dildo with the spikes and scales. Shit was as thick as my arm. I wasn't gonna buy it. I was just showing you since I found a hill. Reynolds is still around? Man, I haven't been there in ages. 
I bought a bunch of practical joke toys there to mess with my teachers growing up. Also met my weed dealer there in high school. Wait, don't attack him! Why? Is he with you or something? He's Jesse. He's escorting us to my condo. Seriously? If he's your escort, then what was he doing hiding under the snow when you were attacked by the brats? One of the kids buried him with a snowblower at the start. And you're relying on him for protection? <sighs> if the kiddos had gotten too out of hand, I would have stepped in and handled it. You gotta let them have a win every now and then, or else they'll get too discouraged to try and succeed at anything. That sure was a heck of a reflex you got. Your aim and form are top-notch, too. If anyone else had been standing in my spot, they would have lost their head. You're quite the skilled fighter. <sighs> Don't patronize me. How much farther till you guys reach your condo? It's a few miles away. Why? All right, I'm coming with you. What? Why? Yay! It's too dangerous for Doris here to be wandering these streets, so somebody's got to protect her. And I don't trust you to get the job done after how you let the brats bury you. And just because you dodged my attack doesn't mean you got what it takes to protect anyone. What possesses you to think I let you come along with us after the way you disrespected both me and... No, no, she should definitely join us. If things get dicey, it'll be better to have two fighters. Oh, fine, she can come. All right, now we've got a full party. Fuck yeah. I've been wanting to ask, what's the deal with that suit of armor? It's my little bros. He's super into fantasy crap. Since I had to go out, I took it for protection. And you honestly think that costume armor is going to protect you? Nah, this shit's the real deal. Check it for yourself. How do you expect me to check it for its legitimacy? Punch it or something. What you need to go out for? A liquor store run? But when I got there, the place was closed. I even checked online first to see if they were open, the lion fucks. But if not for that, I wouldn't have found you guys when I did. So I guess it wasn't a complete waste of a trip. Must have been fate. Man, fuck fate. I can't go on. What happened? Are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm starving. Ah.